Oh god, no one. I have been seeing a uh, ran, random topic change, but I have been seeing a, some speculation that Pokemon Legend ZX might end up being on the Switch successor. I honestly, I think it's more likely not. I think it's, if anything, it'll be closer to a black and white 2 situation where it might come out after the Switch successor came out. And of course, there'll be backwards compatibility, but it will be a Switch game. That's my guess. But it's certainly possible. I just, I don't feel like they would have announced it. Like, obviously it had the Switch logo in the announcement, and I don't feel like they would have announced it that way. Because, especially because not everybody is going to upgrade to a, the Switch the second right away. Some people obviously don't want to upgrade right away. And so announcing a game vaguely like that and then releasing it exclusively for the new hardware is disingenuous. And I think it would upset too many people. They could pro Zelda situation and have one version for each, but I don't think they'll put that much work into it to have two versions. I think the most likely is it's just going to be a Switch game, but of course you can play it on the next system because backwards compatibility. Though I do think that is all the more evidence for backwards compatibility. Because why would they want to release that game after the Switch 2 comes out and not have it backwards compatible? Yeah, Dragon, but like, again, I think it's a good evidence for backwards compatibility. Uh, the Pokemon Company, I'm sure, knows whether the Switch is backwards compatible because I'm sure they already have dev kits. And are we? We're not screwed if we do this. We can. Yeah, we're fine. And so I don't think they would. Uh, as I said, I don't think they would release a Pokemon game at the very end or after the lifespan of the Switch, if the next console can't play it, that would be a huge waste of money for them. So, I'm like 99% sure that the, the successor is backwards compatible. Every single sign points to it. And uh, it's just another thing that points to it. But I don't think it'll be... I think it'll be on the Switch because I don't think they're going... they would have announced a game to an audience only to later be like, oh, but you can't play it on your current hardware. What would be interesting is if that and all of the last batch of Switch games have uh, have like kind of like the Oracle Zelda Oracle or other other late game or late release Game Boy Advance games that checked your hardware and had bonus features for uh, if you're playing on the DS. They might do that. Bonus features if you're playing on the uh, Switch uh, numero dos. Uh. Oh, we didn't do this because we needed Ocarina. God dang it. I knew there was a reason we couldn't do this, but I couldn't remember what the reason was. So I was just like, okay, sure. We need an ocarina so we can call the scarecrow. So we can hook shot to him. Whatever. We need to we need to kill time anyways for the thief. So it's not a big deal. It was something to do. We'll still go check the stall children. Can you switch to shirt and tears of the kingdom? I, I'm, I'm probably not ever booting up Tears of the Kingdom again. I, I beat it. I'm done. Like all our Switch games on day one, we're going to lighten the blow. It's going to launch line up. Uh, not necessarily. You can play it on Switch. 
I think the launch lineup is important because otherwise most people won't see a reason to upgrade. Uh, backwards compatibility is important because you still have a back catalog and you don't have to worry about only a dozen games to play. Though I will say I part of me did enjoy the days where backwards compatibility wasn't a thing and I just got to start fresh. Like, that's still one of the most magical things about me, my memory of the uh, GameCube. Do we need sticks for this? Uh, it was that I had three game, three, four games to focus on and I got really into them because that was all I had to play unless I wanted to hook up my N64 again. Okay, I don't need it. Cool. Things like the mess of the launch line, I was just saying. Yeah, I mean, who knows what the launch line is? I'm very curious. Uh, there is a Scarecrow spot dragon, but there's also a bean spot. Because we already did the bean, and we we tried to jump off the leaf while it was moving because we thought we could make the jump, but we couldn't. We needed a Scarecrow, too. Okay, I need, to, I need to focus on this. Yellow is second. No, I, I might forget. You're staying. Red is fourth. Thanks, Dark Data. I, I'm keep, I was keeping them just in case, but yeah, that, that is the easiest to have them there. Blue is third. Let's see the other color green that's first. Green is fifth. Wait, what? Oh, there's five masks? No, there's four masks. What are you? What? What's first? What's first? We also don't have... Oh, we do have arrows. Shoot them, I, I guess. We don't have time to dick around. Not yellow. Okay, blue is first. Blue and then yellow. Then blue again. Then red. And then green. And then something else? What the heck? I think there was some somewhere else in the in a different room. We're we're brute force in the last one. Nope. Red. Cool. I think there was a couple stall children in the library, which we would have needed a, a Deku stick. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> this is about as junky as junk can get. Cool. Okay, we gotta get back by... I mean, that... Oh, frick, we're too tall! What happens if I... Oh, I can't put it on there. I was like, what happens if I put it on when I'm in a place that I'm not tall enough? Yeah, the next one after 50 dragon is 100. It's usually just a golden ruby, and most randomizers don't randomize that. They 
keep that as vanilla and don't even have an option to randomize it. Because otherwise it's just requiring all 100 skull tolerance. And there's already a setting that you could have the win condition be to collect them all. If I remember correctly. That's a setting. But either way, yeah, they don't usually have that as a thing. And if for some reason it was a thing, we probably won't beat the game, so... <laughs> because that would take forever. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm sorry. We don't need all 100. Okay, we're getting back with time to spare. Cool. Hundred skull taller randomizer speed run. I like to think of it not randomizing the skull taller tokens, just the skull tallers all switch places so it looks identical because they all look identical to each other. Uh, hello! We can't... we still don't have, uh, Mr. Freeze, right? Verifying. Yep, can't go onward. Cool. Hmm. Yeah, so it, it is interesting that Nintendo has kept quiet about their uh, the second half of this year. Like, we know nothing beyond uh, beyond Nintendo World Championship. Like, the second half of the year, we know nothing. And Nintendo is waiting to announce like, all of that in the direct, which is, usually they have a couple things. Like, I guess we have Fantasy Life I, but, uh, that's third party. Nintendo is nothing first party announced. Was that path blocked by Red Ice? Was there? No, it, the path was, uh, it was just like a, a gate. Uh, the door doesn't open until you... It wouldn't make sense to have it at Black Bear Red Ice because even in Vanilla you can't get Blue Fire at that point. There was a Ruby that was in Red Ice. And there's a chance it was a Silver Ruby because I can't tell, quite tell the color because of the red tint. But that's not going to matter. Under World Championship taking a slot of everyone who switched from last year. I don't think so. World Championship has plenty of single player appeal. Everybody wants to switch an exclusive multiplayer and if you don't have if you don't know other people to play with, there's no reason to have it. No, it's not a dividing path. There might have been a there might have been the water that has a one-way door from the Wolfo's room where you get the iron boots. Maybe, but there's otherwise there's not a dividing path there. That's a straightaway. Uh, dude, do your thing. Filler June July game slot. I wouldn't say they necessarily have filler June July game shots. Slots. June and July usually had plenty of great games. Xenoblade 3 came out in that uh, span. Like, uh, Splatoon 3, I think, was. No, Splatoon 2. Splatoon 2 was in that span. They don't usually have filler there. They have big releases in June or July. And last year there was, 
I feel like there is something bigger than everybody wants to switch in June, July, isn't there? The only month really that I feel like they kind of usually have filler is like February. February they often just like put a port or something. Even then, like, that's still kind of calling 3D World Bowser's Fury filler, and I wouldn't even do that because it was an excellent pour of a Wii U game that a lot of people missed, and then a really great bonus mode. I also won't even, wouldn't even consider, uh, Nintendo World Championships as a uh, filler game. It's people like retro stuff like that. I really wish I could have blown him up, but actually, I've caught probably could have blown him up. Like obviously, I would have helped the old lady here, but they also wouldn't have had the bomb bomb bags, and they would have had to have the all night mask. And then again, maybe he needs to be alive for the ultimate mask. I don't remember. Okay, so... Unfortunately, that means we have to go make it... Go make it night three. And I don't think the they even open until like 10 p.m., so then we have to kind of kill time. The yeah, Nintendo World Championships is kind of just a left field kind of thing. Which, I feel like we might have a couple left field things this year because they're kind of just throwing stuff out. Uh, like, I'd say Peach Showtime was kind of left field, even though they announced a little more ahead of time. They're gonna... Like, the last year is when they do ports or experimental things that they didn't expect to sell well anyways. The pride I get the all night mask from. That's why I said I don't know if they, if the uh, if Sakon actually, if you can blow him up, you might need him alive to deliver the mask. Uh, but the proprietor does get uh, if Takuri, the the big uh, crow, if he steals any of your stuff, you have to go to the all the uh, curiosity shop to rebuy your stuff. So he gets stuff from that giant crow also. So, technically, maybe the All Night Mask could come from Takuri. No, I want curry. <laughs> ah, man, I really want curry. What the heck? That's some good, like, Indian curry. Field stuff that's always fun. Yeah, but then a lot of people miss out on the left field stuff. You know how few people got to experience the the underrated game that is Kirby Mass Attack. Like, and there wasn't the excuse that like the next system wasn't backwards compatible. People could have gotten it, but people are saving their money for new hardware and the new launch lineup, and then the games just get overlooked. Yeah, see, you're one of said people. That's the problem with using the last year for the left field stuff. They're doomed to may not necessarily fail, but not really succeed really well. And, uh... Then it just... Nintendo just kind of, like... Who knows when we'll next get a Peach game, because I'm sure, while the Peach game sold good, it's not going to have the full legs it could have had because of the, uh... Because it was released so late. By the time the Switch 2 comes out, everybody's going to be focused on the new games. And it's not really going to have much of an extended lifespan. I also think the Peach game had some inherent flaws that they kind of were lazy about. I could tell it was a lower budget than a Mario game. Which is a shame, because the concept was really good. My point being, the experimental games they released in the last year are kind of shot in the foot by uh, being in that last year. 
The ports? I mean, who cares the ports? If they don't have to do amazing. Mama's letter? Oh yeah, Mama's letter. Uh... Is she there yet? We can multitask in Mama's letter. Thank you, Dark Data. Otherwise, we would have had to go a whole nother cycle just to do this. But, like, I didn't get Warrior Work Gold because that was at the end of the 3DS lifespan. I also didn't get Mario Party Top 100, but I don't regret that one. Craft World kind of felt higher budget from the same dev. Uh, that's because it's a Yoshi game. Yoshi already has an established following. And Craft World was a sequel to an already kind of well-received game. So, uh... So they weren't. They they. It wasn't. It wasn't experimental. Crafter World was. Uh, yeah, talk to them. Talk, talk. Oh, I can't lock on to talk. What? I'm not trying to talk to you. I can't deliver the letter. I need to find a mask. <laughs> I remember now. So Crafter World I also haven't gotten, and I do want to get it. There just was lots of other games that, that were catching my interest, and Crafted World, I didn't really want to pay 60 bucks for it. I've kind of, i toyed with it when it's gone on sale. I'll eventually maybe get it. Honestly, I wouldn't mind a new Yoshi's Island that isn't, like, the craft aesthetic. That's, like, an actual, like, Yoshi's Island. I, I did like... I liked uh, Yoshi's Island DS. And Yoshi's Island... Or Yoshi's New Island was, I mean, it was fine. It wasn't horrible, but it was fairly generic and not very memorable. You liked which one, but some people didn't. Crafter World? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> there is something in Yana's castle that we missed, apparently. Yeah, I, I mean, I haven't heard any bad things about Craft World. I watched bits and pieces of uh, another streamer's playthrough of it, and they were enjoying it. They they were playing it. She was playing it uh, co-op with her wife, and they were having fun together. I think they uh, did pretty much everything. Are she and her fun in general? I think so. Uh, as I said, New Island was kind of a little on the worst side for me. I know there's some people that really don't like Yoshi's Story, and I think that's down to not... It's it's not... It's that it's a different... Yoshi's Story is a different style of game. It's made as more of an arcade game that you're meant to replay so you can experience the levels. And I think a lot of people that didn't like it, that felt it was short, they didn't do that. They just played to the credits once. Also, it's a little on the easier side, except for the last level that randomly spikes in, in Yoshi's Story. Like, the game I consider is fairly easy, and then level 6, no matter which of the four variations you do, just spikes in difficulty. It's 
been a long time since we had a Donkey Kong game. I guess we got Tropical Freeze, and then we got Tropical Freeze plus Funky. Which is another game I've tempted to get on Switch. I have original Tropical Freeze. And Tropical Freeze is excellent. If anybody hasn't played Tropical Freeze, it is... I think it's the second best Donkey Kong Country game, honestly. I think Donkey Kong Country 2 still hasn't been topped. Donkey Kong Country 2 is very... Very... <coughs> perfect at what it does but uh but tropical freeze is really excellent which is funny because it's kind of a sequel to uh Donkey Kong Country Returns which I'd say is the worst Donkey Kong Country game it's not horrible but it is very hard and it doesn't have the charm of the original trilogy the Tiki's are not a very great villain, in my opinion. The the Vikings of the Tropical Freeze are better. Obviously, nothing beats the Crumblings, but and that's uh, the other uh, Game Boy Advance games I want for So are the uh, I want the Donkey Kong Country Game Boy Advance remakes because I never played those. I keep being tempted to just play them on my Steam Deck. But I keep thinking, well, what if they just come to NSO, then I can play them there. Because they have some new content. So I'll just see Retro make use of the Kremlings. I, I do wonder why they haven't. I wonder, like... Rare definitely doesn't have the rights to the Kremlings. That definitely is Nintendo's. But... Nintendo doesn't really utilize them anymore, and I don't know why. I feel like Retro just doesn't feel comfortable using another, like, using Rare's enemies. I think they feel like they need to develop their own. But we need a comeback for K. Roll. It was great having K. Roll in Smash and no, knowing he's not a forgotten character. But we need him, we need him back as the antagonist. He was, he's honestly one of my favorite Nintendo villains of all time is K. Roll because K. Roll is just unhinged. And honestly DK64 was the best version of K. Roll where you could really tell he was unhinged. The second best version of K. Roll is probably Donkey Kong Country 3, even if 2 is a slightly better game. 3, he was kinda goofy. I don't like all this waiting, but the only other thing I know of that we supposedly can get is an Ocarina of Time. Though so honestly, the thing we're getting here, while it's important, it's not going to open up a single check. <laughs> I'll just tell you guys that much. It currently won't, but it's something we are going to need, so... I'm wondering if we're working on another 2D Metroid, to be honest, after Dread, using Dread's engine for the Switch successor. I hope they are. hope they're doing another 2D Metroid. I hope they're doing a 2D Zelda. Somebody. Somebody, I hope, is doing a 2D Zelda. And, you know, actually, 2D Zelda's not going to be... Going forward, 2D Zelda's probably going to be treated like, lower budget. So I wonder if there's a chance that 2D Zelda would appear this year. It's like, after this year. We need money. Oh yeah, we do need money. I don't know how much money we need, though. And the bank... We'll, we'll check the bank after we find out the price. Oh, it's open. Hey. Uh, you guys can see what it is. <laughs> That's not the all-night mask, dude. 360, okay. The Hunt Super Metroid will get a remake. I... I think Super Metroid kinda needs a remake. I mean, some people will disagree, but... It's the... It's the only Metroid game... It's the oldest Metroid game that hasn't gotten a remake. 
I am in though. Uh, and there are some parts of Super Metroid that could be improved. Like, the fact that it doesn't track what you, uh... That's right, yeah, this is... It doesn't track what you, uh, what things you've collected on the map. And that can get kind of annoying when you're 100%ing if you're not keeping close eye on. <laughs> See a button. We did not buy a weird mask. You are wrong. No, get out of here. <laughs> Uh, we could. I just I want Metroid Prime Four to be acknowledged. I I just I want that it to be acknowledged whether Metroid Prime Four is coming to Switch or it's the successor. I'm sure it's in the works, but it'd be nice to know if we're expecting it on the Switch or if we're, we should just not think about it for quite a while still. You know what also though, I don't think people will think about this one often, but I think something that oops, sorry, something that could use a remake slash port. Metroid Prime Hunters. That would be a good one that they could have they could have I'm sure they aren't doing it, but it could have been a good end of switch game or or start of the next one. Metro Prime Hunters, I think, was very underrated as, as a great multiplayer game, and I'd like to see that expanded on. The single player Metro Hunters was very bland, but the multiplayer is great. Okay, so apparently the Spirit Temple section was missing something. This is Forest Temple. Is water temple, I think. I want should have gone around the other way. This is shadow, their spirit. Yeah, we got Beamos. Wait, no, this isn't spirit, this is fire. Wait, is it spirit behind here? If so, then what? Were we supposed to have silver gauntlets? No, oh, those are gold gauntlets. Oh, spirit's up here. Of course it's light. No, this is spirit. Did we get all- we, maybe we got all the silver rubies. Looks like we got all the silver rubies. The store's unlocked. It wasn't unlocked before, right? Yeah, that was unlocked before. The silver ruby counts? Does it show silver ruby counts? I guess that's those. Yeah, the, Gannet, we have, we have all the silver rubies for this area. That's all the silver ruby counts. Oops. There might be something in a shop we can get, I realize. Oh. That doesn't... Snowhead! Oh boy. Oh, there is a spot where you need bomb trees and ocarina. I forgot about this. Uh, am I straight enough? Yeah, no. There we go. Also, wait, we can hold 50... This one can you hold 50 bomb shoes? Do 
We need light arrows. We need light arrows, don't we? I mean, we could buy them, we just haven't. No, we don't need light arrows. Oh, yeah, we do need light arrows, because we don't have mirror shield. Does light arrows work on the suns in this? They shouldn't. Light arrows should not... Yeah, no, they wouldn't, because otherwise they wouldn't have this light, because you'd always have light arrows here. Could we have mirror shield? Is that what this already expect us to have, is mirror shield? Uh... Let's see. No. Then how? Maybe it does expect us to have light arrows. Let me just verify. I can see if logic expect us to get light arrows. It does expect us to by now have light arrows, possibly. I mean, it would have. It was an earlier sphere, so it might it might expect us to have light arrows. So light arrows were. Let's see. It was from a Deku, a business scrub. Lon Lon Scrub, and it's 370. Oh, I got the hydrate. Yeah, Lon Lon. Have a good night, Dark Data. Thank you for hanging out. See you next time. Let's, uh, we have to go grind money then. Does this business scratch? Oh, is this only an adult? Or only a child? Or. A, hmm. Hmm. Uh. Let's see. I want to. I want to make sure that I'm. Lon Lon Ranch. Only when Link's a child. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh... I forgot how much money I on my brain. It was, like, what, 370, was it? Seventy. Where is all our money? Why can't we get a progressive wallet? So sick of grinding this dumb red ruby. That's the fastest way. I don't want to accidentally use that fairy. I wonder though, we were talking NSO earlier, I wonder if we're even going to get any, uh, like, obvious NSO games. Last, they've lately been kind of dropping weird, unexpected ones. But I don't know what unexpected ones to expect. Like, none of them are, like, obvious third-party games that we all, from, like, studios we think of. They're, like... 
freaking Iggy's Wrecking Balls. Like, there's stuff that, uh, your average gamer might not even know about. Do we need still? So we need 251. I'm not even gonna worry about the one. I can just get a green rupee from the grass. Like, I don't care. So that's two. No, wait, no, but it's two, 370. So never mind. That's 211 we need. Maybe that can ball is pretty fun if I've tried it. I haven't actually played it since it came to NSL. But, but, yeah, that's one of my childhood games. I'm glad that you're able to play it. I hope you'll play it more. Just me night. Those that is to let you carry me up. But like after Iggy's Dragon Ball, I don't know what other crazy drop games they could drop. Like Anything I can think of is either a major first party or a one on third party game. I guess I guess something like Quest 64, God, that would be <laughs> like listen, I would play it. But Quest 64 is not a good game. It's one just one of the few uh, one of the few RPGs we got on at 64. But hey, they don't need to only put good games on the servers, I guess. I just know a lot of people will be disappointed if they drop just Quest, just Quest 64 and nothing else. Like, heck, people are going to be upset if they just drop Quest 64 at all. They're going to be like, what the heck? I haven't even been playing the NSO much though because of the retro I'm, er, retro achievements and I just end up being like, well, if I play it on my Steam Deck, I can get achievements. Earth Pass 64 I don't think was ever completed, so they can't do that. Oh my god, now I can't get the big jumps. I guess uh, Gauntlet Legends might be a uh, kind of kind of out there. Like I mean, people everybody knows Gauntlet Legends, but like he's not from like a one of the major studios at this point. It could be a little more obscure. No! The heck was that? I feel cheated. I feel so cheated. What was that? Yeah, I'm still been picking away at uh, Unicorn Overlord very slowly. But I'm almost done with the Picross game that I started like a week and a half ago. I have uh, like I think 16 puzzles left out of like, oh no, because there's some of the, uh, no, none of the other modes, there's some other puzzles. I have a couple dozen puzzles left out of like 400 or something, probably more than that. 
Yeah, no, it was probably over 500. Yeah, there, there's an interesting Picross game that it got a demo recently. If you just look at the Switch eShop demos. Oh wait, we have enough. What am I doing? If you look at look at the the demos on the the demo section of Switch eShop where you go to the search and click demos, uh, it'll be one of the more recent demos, and it like you do dozens of Picross puzzles just in the demo. It was crazy. Uh, Lon Lon Ranch, what am I doing? And, uh, yeah, it really hooked me. It has this weird mechanic where you, the puzzles make different, uh, like, objects that you can combine to unlock more puzzles that are different objects. But it was basically just Picross. Picross with some riddles sp sp sprinkled in. I still need to, I at some point started uh, Murder by Numbers and I never uh, got very far. I need to do that. Pitcross E-Series is fun. I stopped getting Pitcross games because I develop a problem with Pitcross, which is happening with this. Where I will like play, I'll just get hooked on them and keep doing one more Pitcross game and then it's like 5am and I work the next day. and. I already have enough sleep issues without Picross. So I don't usually get Picross anymore because I get very addicted to them. But, uh... Yeah, recently when I was found all my old DS games, I found my first Picross game, Picross DS, back before there was an eShop. And that was where I learned about Picross. Little did I know, they would start releasing them like crazy on the 3DS and then... the Switch. And I got like all of the 3DS ones, and then I got like one Switch one before I kind of stopped. Here we go. Okay. I don't know which one of you had it. Probably not you. Oh, no, I think it's you. I think it's you. No, it's you. I think you have it. No. Give silver ruby for the shadow. Do I? No, I need more. Wait, no. Was it shadow temple? That was shadow temple, right? Not shadow. Again, oh, it doesn't matter. I don't have a short front of the Ganon ones either. I wish we'd get more, uh. There we go. More Picross, uh. Nintendo first party thing because we got a Zelda Picross and a Pokemon Picross. I I would like more of those. I would like I don't know what they do. I don't really want a Mario one. I guess like uh maybe a Kirby Picross. That might be cool. Metroid Picross. They never do that though. Kirby Picross. I could see that happening. Kirby. They love to do spinoffs. Okay, so why am I running this way? Uh, we want to go to Temple Time. God, I feel like I've made like no progress. We got a note. We got a music note so far today. Was it a music note we need? I maybe I went and checked. Oh yeah, and then I've also been doing Dragon Quest Monsters, The Dark Prince. It's really fun. I'd like to train your brain in minutes a day. I mean, that was fun, but I don't really... I don't care for having another one of those. I... There's plenty of options if I want to just do random puzzles. Or, or what Nintendogs are saying. Uh, I mean, I'd like a new Nintendo, but I don't know what they could do at this point that would really make it feel worthy of a new entry. Already, Nintendo and Cats just kind of tacked on Cats. They didn't do as much. I don't know what they would do with a new Nintendo. It's 
and without like street pass and stuff, I, I don't know. It feels like it'd be less interactive with a, and without microphone. I mean, there's a rumor that there might be a mic on the new switch, but without a microphone, it's really kind of pointless. <laughs> 